our guest now to discuss all of this. Uh, and, uh, Rosenstein, his incompetence in overseeing the special counsel and its investigation. Uh, we are joined now by Chris Farrell, who is the head of uh, research and investigations for Judicial Watch. Chris, great to have you here. You heard what I had to say about it. Uh, I am so disgusted that the national left-wing media has become a, a bunch of uh, complicit, uh, to me, inert uh, figures in what has become a tragic play in which the national security isn't even discussed by the deputy attorney general. He is so intent on playing games. That I, I, I just find this such reprehensible conduct by anyone in the Justice Department. And by the way, the White House in taking s this thing and acting as though it's necessary to defend the president, I think is absolutely beyond explanation or tolerance by the president. This is a deeply subversive political attack by Rosenstein and Mueller against the president when he's in, when he's in the middle of a, uh, a foreign affairs uh, event or actually a week long. He's conducting foreign policy. He is Correct. talking about some of the most important issues in national security, whether it be uh, the support by all of the 29 nations for NATO uh, or whether it be a head a face to face, head to head meeting with Vladimir Putin. And you have the idiot Democrats saying they shouldn't talk to him. Uh, oh, he only has their 6,500 warheads. Uh, you know, ready to use at any moment. I mean, this Mueller, is the the mindlessness of the of this particular period in our history is overwhelming. Rosenstein and Mueller want to destroy Trump, the man, and the Trump presidency. Let's be a hundred percent clear. This oh. is a publicity stunt. I don't think there's any. No one should doubt that for a moment. This was a publicity stunt to push back on the atrocious uh, Strzok event yesterday. Mm -hmm. Where he, he humiliated himself and the FBI, and I have a little tip for Mr. Rosenstein. Hey, go back and take a look at that Awan uh, Democratic uh, House server. You want to go look at a, a cybersecurity issue? Instead of sweeping it under the rug, go back and do an investigation there because there's substantial documentation that shows that there was a grave national security crime there. And point two, uh, how do they know that the Democratic National Committee server? was actually ever attacked or penetrated because the FBI punted. They allowed CrowdStrike to do the investigation. And uh, uh, newsflash, CrowdStrike is not a law enforcement agency. The it FBI is, it's was, also the FBI closely was allied with the Democratic Party. Correct. The and FBI that, was that makes beaten. these they indictments, the by the way, Chris. It makes them based on these indictments. I mean, I, it, it's, it's hard they're for me to even form the word. They're a joke. It basically, they're based on... Hearsay. They have, and, and I want an investigation in why the FBI did not demand access to those servers. It was not some sort of legal issue. It's a matter of national damn security. It was political difference. We've got, difference a, we've to got a nation's Clinton. capital acting like, and I'm talking about most of, uh, nearly all of the Democratic Party and, and far too many of the Republicans, as if there's no national security issue here as they can blindly go along with the business as usual uh, attitude when it comes to both political corruption and outright corruption. The same Democrats that applauded Strzok and one uh, ridiculous uh, member of Congress uh, dishonored and insulted every combat wounded veteran in the country's history by suggesting he be given a purple heart. I mean, we're talking about a moron. I mean, how insulting can it be that this guy who threw an investigation and then tried to steer an election that he should be honored in any way, yet the Democrats on those committees sat there and applauded him. I mean, you want to talk about a low point in the history of the House of Representatives? That was yesterday. Yes, and it was also, it is sometimes uh, these events are want to be. There was also on display great courage, and by the way, uh, the Freedom Caucus stood tall, insisting on getting to the truth, and they had moments in which they succeeded. They did, and Mr. Gomert raised a very important point about the penetration by a hostile foreign intelligence service or entity uh, of Hillary Clinton's server, and I'm waiting for that one to be unwound. Uh, Judicial Watch is pursuing it. I trust you. Trust me on that. Yeah, I, I, I trust you on it, Chris. I don't think Judicial Watch can come close 
to uh, serving the national security interests that right now have uh, been absolutely betrayed by this Justice Department. And let me be very clear about that. This is a Justice Department playing political games and politicizing further a rancidly corrupt, politically corrupt Justice Department and FBI. And then the Deputy Attorney General in front of cameras and microphones having the temerity to talk to the American people about patriotism rather than partisanship. That should make everyone nauseous, sick to their stomachs at what we are tolerating in our, in our nation's capital. You know, this is the kind of guy who engages in really subversive behavior while wrapping himself in the flag. It's disgusting.